Imagine this, after doing all the research and finally finding your YouTube automation niche, you created multiple videos and you started getting views. However, you're not monetized yet because you don't have the 1K subscribers and 4K watch hours. But you're still on the right track to get there. You can already see yourself booking a nice holiday where you can just chill, relax from all of the hard work you've done. And yes, you definitely deserve that. But then, this happens. You apply for the partner program and your request is denied. You're not getting monetized. This can happen to you if you don't know how Creative Commons works. The question remains, can you actually make money with Creative Commons on YouTube? I did my research and I found the answer for you. However, it's not an easy one. Buckle up and let me explain. So Creative Commons on YouTube is a category under which you can upload your video. Here I am on YouTube. If I type in make money online right now, I can actually filter on Creative Commons videos by going to filters and then right there, features and then Creative Commons. Once I click there, I'll find videos that are uploaded under the Creative Commons license. Now this essentially means that all the content that shows up right there can indeed be reused by other YouTube creators. So I would be allowed to take this video and use it in my own videos. Now you're probably thinking, hey, if I can take all of these videos and simply upload them myself without getting in trouble and I can monetize them, why would I do the work myself? I'll just take these videos, upload them, make money and chill on the Maldives. Well, it's not that easy. Let me explain. Just because you can use the videos doesn't mean you can monetize them, but it also doesn't mean you cannot monetize them. So there's something that's called the YouTube ID content claim. YouTube has systems where they can detect whether a video has been uploaded to a channel before, meaning if a video is copied from someone else. This automatically generates a content claim. This is what it looks like. I'm in the back end of the content ID claim system, and as you can see, I can find videos that people have re-uploaded from my own channel. You can see how many views they got, their title, their exact video, and how much of that video video is indeed copied from you. You can see that 100% of their video is indeed my video. So these are people that simply take my video and they re-upload the same thing even though I don't use the Creative Commons license. Now these people I can copyright strike because they download my video, they re-upload them, they don't change anything, it's the exact video that I made and I didn't upload it under the Creative Commons license. Meaning it's illegal. Now with Creative Commons it's pretty much the same, however you're allowed to re-upload it. However you cannot monetize it directly in the partner program because YouTube doesn't allow you into the partner program. They can see that you take all of the content from other people so you cannot get ads on your videos. So does that answer the question, can you make money with Creative Commons? Well, not directly with ads. However, there are multiple ways to make money on YouTube. So we still have not found our answer yet. So here's what you should not do with Creative Commons. Download the video and then re-upload it right away. Here's what you should do instead. Take parts of the video. Use the most interesting clips from a full video. Make sure to not copy it one on one in the full thing, but add stuff to it so that you add value to that video. Now adding value is kind of a broad term, so what do we actually mean by this? Well this is actually put in the monetization terms of service. Adding value means you add context, you add your own commentary, you add humor, you add value. Basically adding stuff to the video, meaning it's not going to end up the exact same video. You can do so by adding voiceovers, through editing, or simply putting the clip in a different perspective. This way YouTube will see it as original content and you can actually monetize it. Now doing all of that might get you monetized, however there's still a big issue even if you make it. So here's the major problem with Creative Commons. It's checking whether the video actually falls under that category or not. For example, this video that you're watching is not uploaded as Creative Commons. However, you could download this video and you can re-upload it with the Creative Commons license. However, you're not the original creator of the video. So the fact that you put it as Creative Commons doesn't mean that's actually the case. And that's where the big trouble starts. So you can find all of these videos right there that are uploaded under the Creative Commons license. However, we're not for sure whether these are the actual channels. For example, this video right there, I'm pretty sure that's not his channel. I've seen his face before, that's Mr. Rice. That is not his channel, but someone has taken the clip, re-uploaded it as Creative Commons. If I would now take this, re-upload it, I can get a strike by the original creator, which is not crazy money. And that's where the problem comes in. So if you're taking large videos from Creative Commons, you have to make sure to do research whether that is the original creator or not, which takes you a lot of time. In general, I would avoid sport clips, rain channels, meditation channels, background music, and any big personality videos that have been uploaded on a bogus channel. So all of the Creative Commons stuff is kind of a gray area. It's very hard to monetize, and even if you get monetized, 
there's always a risk of demonetization. However, if it still sounds like something you want to do, make sure to do this. Method number one, picking low risk sources and reusing those. You could make compilation videos with TikToks and the chance of you getting a strike for that are extremely low. I personally have a friend that actually did that back in the day. He got monetized, he made a lot of money with it. Later on, he switched and he never got in trouble. Now to make it even safer, you can add the value that we talked about. So you can react to watching the TikTok videos. You can add a voiceover, you can add editing to make it unique content. Method number two, sending traffic to another channel. If your Creative Commons videos get all the traffic, however, it cannot be monetized, you still have attention. We live in the attention economy, so you can use that attention to send to another channel so that you can monetize that one. What some of these people do is that they take all of those videos they simply mass upload them to a channel, which they'll accept is not gonna get into the YouTube Partner program, but then they use the traffic to send to another video or another channel, or they'll monetize it in the back end with other offers. Which brings me to method number three, affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing is the business model where you promote a service or a product by someone else and you simply get a commission per sale. Let's say that I would make this microphone right there and you would promote the microphone. I'll give you a link and every single time someone that comes from your audience will click on the link and buy the microphone, I'll give you a piece of the sale. It's a pretty easy model, however, it works wonders if you do it correctly. So even though you may not monetize the views directly with ads from the YouTube Partner Program, you can still redirect traffic to an offer and that's where you can make money. To be honest, that's one of the best ways to do it if you're gonna go with Creative Commons. However, as a whole, I do not recommend doing any of this. It might work, but it's not 100% safe. If you do wanna find out what's 100% safe, click on this video right there and then you'll find out.